Gilead's been on a very long journey in terms of its facility footprint. Our master plan called for a, a 6x increase in our footprint, and we found it a tremendous opportunity to actually take that growth and embed sustainability principles as a way of engineering the infrastructure. In the case of 324, we want to make sure that this building is not just an ordinary laboratory building. It is actually a place to inspire innovation. One of the biology VPs I remember asking, how do we find our way around? So the E helps to identify a certain part of the building that you're in. It helps users to understand, hey, I may be in the chemistry side of the building or the biology. And throughout the design of 324, the one focus we had was not just to deliver an asset that achieved our scientific ambitions of today, but it inspired scientists to focus on our scientific vision for tomorrow. The concept of right to light is fully baked into this building. So every single laboratory, both sides would have the natural light. Low energy lighting gives us 13% of savings in energy to reduce the carbon footprint. We decided to put solar panels on the parking garage, which brings over 750,000 kilowatts of uh, additional energy. We work very closely with not just the city ecosystem, but as well as the local community on ensuring that our growth and our plans to develop our properties are in line with their local plans. It's not gonna happen just by engineering. It's truly happened uh, with science, engineering, and operations together. One of the biggest things about the building is the collaboration, synergy. Another aspect is just bringing all the different disciplines and groups together. So now you have a place to call home where these researchers can work together. Building 324 was one of the first research buildings to get an honor. It recently received a four-year Facility of the Year award. That didn't happen by just one project here or a project there. It required a complete rethinking of not just the ethos around sustainability, but also the way we viewed the program. What it means to me is um, there's a lot of people working in the background, from programming and design to handing over the building to our facilities partners. The awards and the ratings that we're getting, be it the lead gold ratings we've got on our largest laboratory, or the lead gold we've got on our manufacturing facilities. I think they're reflective of a recognition that we were able to deliver infrastructure that was not just operationally excellent and operationally met the parameters of what gold buildings look and feel like, but they're also at the highest sustainable standard. I'm tremendously excited about not just the potential for sustainability to become bigger at Gilead, but for us to play a leadership role in changing the narrative around sustainability.